Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I'm here with the last gift list for the holiday. This one is unisex fragrances. It's not for someone who wants to wear unisex fragrances, although it could be, but I don't know about you guys. I always like to have a couple of extra fragrances or just a couple of extra presents in case I forgot to get somebody a present. And yeah, it needs to be a unisex present because who knows if it's a guy or a girl, right? So I thought, hey, let me make a list real quick of a couple of things that you guys can buy in case you need to give somebody a present and you forgot. So let's start this. So first off, I'm gonna let you know that I have a video on each of these already, so I'm not gonna go too into depth. I don't really like uh, these videos running too long, so I'm just gonna get right into this first one. It's gonna be Rasasi Alwisam Day. Now this one does get compared to Creed's Silver Mountain Water. I really love this one. It's a really pleasant, versatile fragrance. Yeah, rose is one of the notes, but I don't feel like it's a feminine rose. I feel like this is a very unisex fragrance. In fact, I think it's marketed. It might be marketed unisex, honestly. It could be marketed to men though. It is right down the center unisex though. It's got a little bit of that inkiness to it that you would expect, but this one is just, gorgeous slightly floral spicy fragrance you're definitely going to get some of the fresher notes a little geranium i feel like i can pull the sandalwood in here i feel like it's kind of creamy i actually feel like the sandalwood balances the rose out really well it is a rosacea fragrance so it is pretty heavy on the musk but it's a really nice pleasant musk you're gonna really enjoy this one i don't think that there's too many people that wouldn't like it again it's not super masculine or super feminine so if it's someone who really prefers their fragrances in either direction. This probably isn't gonna be for them. It's gonna have a little bit of oak moss. It's gonna have a little bit of rose. Really, I feel like it has something for everyone. When it opens up, you're gonna have some freshness from the bergamot and the lavender. To me, this one is a home run because it's so inexpensive. And I do have, I think, a maybe older batch, but the longevity is out of this world, as is the projection. I have come to expect that from Rosasi though. So I honestly can't imagine you going wrong with any batch of this. Next. The next one is for someone who wants a really fresh fragrance. Again, it's right down the center when it comes to unisex, but I really can't imagine anyone disliking this and it's gonna be our Moff Clubbed in a Wee Milestone. Known for that salted melon, it is really good. It's definitely a compliment getter. It is a freshie, so it has the performance of a freshie, but it's just really pleasant and it scents the air around you really well. So the sillage bubble on this is really nice. And again, I get a lot of compliments on this. I don't get a compliments on all of my freshies. So when I do, I always really enjoy it. But this one, I love, love smelling in the air around me. It honestly kind of floored me when I smelled it. I do like our Moff a lot of times. They do really good quality juice for a really low price. Uh, you can get this for about $35 and for that, it's honestly a steal. Um, this one is of course a clone of Creed's Millicium Imperial. People have said that the newer batches of Millicium Imperial actually don't perform as well as this. So if you were thinking about getting that one, Maybe look into this, I don't know. It's not a very big investment and as a Christmas gift, I can't think of anyone that would not enjoy this juice. Next. Now for someone who you just wanna get a really loud fragrance for, this is the person that wants the attention all of the time. My recommendation would be Al Haramein Amber Oud Gold. This juice is strong, and if you go more than two sprays, you will regret it, as will everybody around you. It is insane, especially because it's just, honestly, kind of like a musky basket of fruit. It smells really good. To me, it kind of reminds me of those Haribo gummy bears, the fruity ones. That's what it kind of smells like, but in a really pleasant way. Um, I sprayed it on a strip. I have a bunch of things sprayed on strips right now, and the one that is scenting the room is this one. I think it smells really good. It's just a super powerful juice and you can get like a tester bottle on eBay for under $40 for, I think this is 60 or 75 ml, something like that. But you will never need more than this much. This is a lot. I'm telling you, I wore this and like four or five hours later, somebody at work who had just come into the building and was very far away was like, did you just spray something? And I was like, no. 
it's pretty strong. So someone who just wants something loud and versatile because it's fruity, but it's gonna cut through the cold. As long as you don't overspray it in the summer, I think you're fine. But it's a really strong one. So anyone that wants a beastly fragrance, that's the one. Next. So if you don't mind spending a little more for an emergency present, and you know a real baddie in your life, I feel like the best one to go for is Tom Ford Black Orchid. I mean, this is definitely a special occasion fragrance, but it's so good. I mean, I love patchouli, but the patchouli in here is like chocolatey and sexy and it screams like I'm, I'm super bad, but super good. You guys know what I mean. If you know a baddie, this is the juice for them. It's so good. It's so sexy. It's really, it just screams boss. Who doesn't want to smell like a boss? I mean, seriously, guys. I feel like this is not a safe one to get to just anybody. If you know that they like bold fragrances and just bold everything. I was really new to the fragrance game when I smelled this and I loved it immediately. I was just like, this is like, it was one of those ones that caught me off guard. It's just like, this is good. Why is this so good? What is this? And then I had to buy it, obviously. I mean, I have a lot from the Orchid line. Um, I do have the Parfum too. I actually think that this is bolder than the Parfum. That's why I'm bringing you this. The Parfum is a little more agreeable, a little bit more wearable. I think this one to me runs a little bit more unisex, but again, baddie, black orchid. Next. All right, so this one I saved for last because it's like really in my top five fragrances for life. I like it a lot. It's from the House of Dapper and it's their formulation of Replica's Jazz Club. And I did go ahead and buy the biggest bottle because I had purchased a 20 ml a while, or sorry, a 15 ml a while ago and I was like almost done with it and I didn't want to actually run out. Almost done with it is a big deal. I have, I don't want to even count how many fragrances I have. I have a lot. For me to have finished 15 ml of anything at this point is ridiculous. So. I'm saying, if you haven't smelled this, it's really sexy. This one has some vanilla, a little bit of a, a little bit of smokiness, not very much to be completely honest. Sweetness from the vanilla, rum, tobacco. It has a little bit of fresh notes up top like neroli and lemon, but this is just a really sexy fragrance and I get compliments like crazy with this one, which don't get me wrong, I like this one with or without compliments because it just smells really good to me. But I get a ton of compliments and I'll tell you what, it doesn't hurt. So for me, if you know someone who just likes smelling real sexy and seductive all the time, I mean, there you go. And I've read that this one is uh, better for performer than the original. I read online a lot that the only knock that people seem to have about the original is the performance. I get well over eight hours with this and a really good projection for at least the first two, but a really good scent cloud for a lot more. I've already done a full review on this. I have done a full review on all these. If you want to know more about any of them, check that out. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you actually want to get these videos every day. Your call, obviously, but hey, I mean, I'm posting daily these days. I've got time on my hands. Let's just do this. See you guys on the next one. Bye.